I really enjoyed the game yesterday. And in fact, where we sat, because you weren't too far away, I did see you at the game. Yes. Uh, with Perry Groves. There's a real hub of Arsenal fans there that, and the expectation, it was a, a group of fans that have seen success and won it again. And it was a re huge relief. Okay, it was a, luck, a lot of luck involved in the goal. But I still feel that getting all those bodies forward in a forward position, um, it was a, a really strange afternoon, wasn't it? It started with Raya, the goalkeeper for Arsenal, sort of the anxiety you could feel and the fans, you know, Ramsdale's a big favourite. And it was resonating around the ground. And I think he came through that in the end. Uh, some difficult moments for him, the new goalkeeper. Mm. Been supported, of course, by the manager. Um, but I thought the Arsenal defence was superb. Uh, Saliba showed why he was missed so much at the end of last season. Gabriel as well. Let's not forget him. I thought they ate Haaland yesterday. Honestly, physically, they were really up for that challenge. Um, so that was the platform. Start difference to what we saw at the Etihad Stadium at the end of last season where it was Haaland who was eating up the defenders. He was. Uh, but of course, no De Bruyne. And then Gundogan's been allowed to leave and Rodri's injured. Those three players there are quite... They're, they're geniuses. So have they closed the gap? And in terms of quality in the squad and the gulf between the two, which was apparent last season? I think there's been a, yes, but there's still a long way to go. And Man City are maybe in a period at the moment where they're playing six away games of the next seven, or currently in that, not doing especially well, um, losing games that you would never believe that they were, were going to lose. So that invincibility slips away a little bit. But we know Pep's capable of going on enormous, fantastic runs, but they're going to have to respond now. Um, was it as good a game as you hoped for? No, probably not. But I think that's a, a mark of the respect that the two managers have got for each other. It was a bit of a chess match at times. It was intriguing, but it wasn't edgy as seat excitement. Obviously, City started well, had a shot cleared off the line, didn't really have another meaningful goal-scoring opportunity, which, as Martin has said, is, is credit to the way that Arsenal defended. One shot on target in the whole game. Yeah, I, and, and, and that's picking up really where they left off against Wolves they had a lot of the ball against Wolves they had a lot of goal attempts but not many of them really looked like ending up in the back of the net so I do think there's been a hangover for City in terms of that treble victory last season we'll talk about that later but I've got to pick out Declan Rice we, we said before the game is this the afternoon when Declan Rice announces himself as a top top player right at the top of the Premier League and I think he did I thought he was man of the match Declan Rice um, yeah, are strong. Arsenal favourites for the title now? Uh, no Man City are the favourites. Look, when you think, I mean, two, is it two seasons on the bounce? They've won as many as 32 games. Last year, they won 44 matches. This is a remarkable team. And Pep was saying, you know, quite loosely, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll get this right and we'll go on a run. I wonder if they really believe that right now. Well, we, we, listen, uh, let's concentrate on Arsenal and what they've done over the course of the last few months. They've started to build a squad. And Arteta has been given the latitude to get. Older players out, get new, fresher players, versatile players into the squad. They've done that really well. They've rebuilt that squad over the course of the last few years. How close are they then to not just mounting a title challenge, but going beyond Manchester City and actually lifting that trophy? Yeah, but it's, it's kind of work in progress for Arsenal, isn't it? We, we, how long, we how long will it be work in progress for? This is a great moment, isn't it? This is the yeah, statement but, victory but, that sends them no, but we're not that's talking. We're not talking were about any ordinary team here. We're talking about a team, Man City, that are conquering Europe You've right now. You've already said they've let players go this summer is it a chance it, it, well it was yesterday and Arsenal took that it was very important that they won that game yesterday I think it's when you're up against your media opponent for the you know for the Premier League that you you feel that winning experience against them so they can feel the, the energy the quality you had Haaland certainly knows that they're very difficult opponents now when he plays against Arsenal I just felt that they didn't really I mean Bernardo Silva went deep which is credit to, obviously it shows you the belief that they have in him but they didn't really control things. Then they changed it. They put stones on. And it, there's all this kind of... Normally, he's bossy midfield, Pep, and then he can just make the changes in wide positions. And it was he's having to dig quite deep at the moment from a tactical point of view. The Grealish didn't come on yesterday. I was really surprised. Grealish almost, didn't he? The way he played last season in February against Arsenal, kind of, that was his moment. Scored a goal there. And he, he must have been itching to get on. I couldn't really fathom out you, why You're deflecting away from the Arsenal situation. We're trying to no, focus not. on them. No, I'm not. At this. But you were talking about Manchester City. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but we, it's too early to say that Arsenal could go and romp away well, and win the league. That's what I wanted you to say. If that's how you it's feel not about it. No, it doesn't really... Uh, no, I just work in progress. That's what that means. You're, you're, you're building. You're in the race. You're jogging there on the on, on Spurs' shoulder, by the way. Spurs, congratulations to them, top of the table. Everyone's saying, well, what are we talking about Arsenal for? But Spurs are top of the table. Well, that's fine. Be top now. It's who's top at the end of the season that matters. OK, all right. Well, um, you know, we'll ask you in just a second, Crook, whether or not it is too early to get carried away. Because, listen, we do get carried away when big results happen like this. And Perry Groves was on the Premier League All Access podcast uh, from TalkSport this morning. Well, he certainly thinks that Arsenal have got a chance. I said before the game that if uh, we lost, I didn't think we had any chance of winning the title. 
And I said, if we won the game, I said that psychological boost that it has, and it gives you even more assurance, even more confidence that there's every chance that Arsenal go on and win the title. That's We're not along. what you said. That's not what you said. What did I say then? You said to me afterwards, they're going to the they're gonna win the title. Well, there you go. I said they'll go on and win the title. Did he say it on air? He, he, I don't know. He kept saying it to me privately. I don't know. Did you say it on air? We were only on air for about a second after the end of the game, so... No, you were too busy seeing the North London forever. <laughs> you, got, I don't, you got bang into it, by the way. You just adopted our song. <laughs> it's very catchy. Um, but the, but the atmosphere was rocking, to be fair. The atmosphere was rocking. So yeah. do, uh, you now think, after just yes. eight games of the season, Arsenal going to win the title? Yes. Barry Groves thinks that they can win the title. Um, is he getting too carried away? No, I don't think he is. I think this is a, a massive opportunity for Arsenal. Martin's already highlighted the players that City have lost. I think there's a, a vulnerability about City having watched their last two Premier League games that, that hasn't been there recently. And I think there has been a drop-off. And Martin's mentioned Jack Grealish. I wonder if his absence from the starting eleven, having looked like he now down a starting spot last season, is a reaction from, Mikel, uh, from Pep Guardiola to the fact that maybe... He over-celebrated that treble win. I think Arsenal have spent the money. They've backed their manager. I think this is a massive opportunity now to go on and, and end that long wait for a title. I'm surprised that Martin doesn't have more faith in his team. Um, Piers Morgan is similar to you, though. He's always saying uh, this morning on The Breakfast Show, it's the hope that kill you, well, that kills you. Is it, are, are you sort of in that camp? Have you seen so many false dawns at Arsenal? You're, 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 you're loath to commit. No, it's just about, it's, it's about balance, isn't it? So going into this game, Arsenal were conceding quite a lot of goals at home. So they've, they've drawn twice, haven't they, with Fulham? And they've drawn with, with, with Spurs. And they scored and then conceded. And it's just getting that happy balance. And I thought there was yesterday. I thought the tactics were perfect. Because you've got, you've got to be careful. Arsenal didn't really want to press too high. Um, they sat quite deep. I mean, we saw an awful lot of both goalkeepers in possession of the ball. Mm. And when they get the ball, the game seems to stop. And the Arsenal fans were becoming impatient with that. But just going back to Grealish, um, no, I don't think it's anything to do with celebrations at the end of last season. I think Pep is actually one of those managers. He, look, he gets out the cigars himself, doesn't he? You might look at that and say, that's not a fantastic look. So it's like, we'll celebrate when we, when we, when we need to celebrate. I think that was more a case of protecting Grealish, who played for a whole game in midweek because he's had injuries at the start of the season. Um, Bernardo Silva's been injured at the start of the season. De Bruyne has been injured. They've had a catalogue of injuries. This is when they were at their weakest and Arsenal needed to strike and they've done that. But it's only one strike. It's not a knockout and City will bounce back. So, so Arsenal so, needs to respond. So do you think then, because of all of the mitigating circumstances that you've given Manchester City and the absences that they've got, especially in midfield and the changeover of squad they've got, that actually this isn't a test that Arsenal have passed in order to shake off the inferiority complex? It was a job they had to get done because of the circumstances Manchester City found themselves in. It's about jumping another fence. It's about it psychologically, yes, it gives Arsenal massive boost, great confidence, but it's only one game. You can't get carried away. This is just, you know, look, you, you win the match, you look forward to the next game. The teams are all going off, players are off now to international duty, and then they're coming back. It's Chelsea away. Chelsea have just won the last two games in the, in the Premier League. There'll be a great scalp for Chelsea. So you've got to be on blob, make sure everyone's back in. It looks like Saka now will be rested, but they're in good form. And that's all it is right now. You're in the race. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.